Hi everyone, Rachel again with Signature Realty. Just wanted to do a quick video to talk about absorption rate. I've had a lot of people ask me questions about pricing homes lately. And as I'm sure most of you have seen, we have had a shift in the market. For a lot of homes, not all, but a lot of homes, we are now using what's called the absorption rate. What is the absorption rate? That's a great question. So the absorption rate is basically how many homes are sold per month in a particular area, price range, etc. So how do you figure that out and how do you price it if you want it to sell? So the way you figure that out is you go back and you look at how many homes that meet that criteria in that area have sold um, per month on average. You then look at how many homes are currently on the market and that will tell you how many months supply you currently have. If you have a one month supply, great. You're probably not gonna be using the absorption rate for that. If you have a six month supply, that's where we're going to be needing to use the absorption rate. And what that is, you look at the information I just told you and then you wanna price it just a little bit lower than the competition. I know lower is not a word that sellers want to hear, but it's either price or patience. And considering that homes are sitting on the market a lot longer right now, many sellers are opting for price. Okay, great. So that means that if you're wanting to sell it quickly, you have to be the shiny penny, so to speak. Your home needs to be the sparkly, pretty, most beautiful home in that area, in that price range, and then on top of it, it needs to be priced just a bit lower, just a tiny bit lower than the competition so that your home will sell a little bit faster than the competition. So thanks for listening. If you have other questions, feel free to contact me. Chat with you soon, bye.